Hi, my name is Corey Fosnight, and this is my summative blog for MBA 622, Organizational Behavior and Communication. Coming into the class, I had a lot of expectations on what I would learn. Some of the expectations I had were learning new techniques, management skills, and new ideas that I could apply into my current job and make myself a better employee. In the first module, we were asked to blog about how we like to be managed. For me, there's three main aspects of management that I like to have. Uh, first, I like to be trusted by my manager, also have a pos or personal relationship with him or her, and be managed towards an understood goal. One takeaway I had from this uh, module was the evolution of management thought and how previously managers used to view uh, employees as just objects and treat them all the same way. However, when they realized that if you would view your employees um, you know, more different, essentially that they could be more productive. Uh, in our second module, we got to take a test on our personality. I found this extremely interesting to kind of see how I would rate on this test. Uh, the two highest scores I had were in conscientiousness and agreeableness, and the lowest score that I had was in um, neuroticism. But I thought the agreeableness being so high could actually be a negative thing just as far as conflict. Um, also, there's a perception is reality takeaway that I had, and really biggest thing for me is regardless of how good a day you're having or how great of a mood that you're in, uh, if your body language does not show that, that's not the reality that everyone else sees because the perception that, they're sh that you're showing them is the actual reality that they're seeing. And I thought that was a very interesting module. Uh, the next one we looked at was motivation and I really got to blog about what motivates us personally. Um, obviously, you know, money is a big motivating factor, and for me personally, I like a work-life balance, and I also like the satisfaction of having a position in my career that allows me to, you know, reach out and help other people and have it a positive effect on someone else's life. One takeaway from this module was uh, the Theory X versus Theory Y, and how some managers view that all employees are Theory X and just really there to get a paycheck and some are theory why they're to actually benefit the company and progress throughout their career. Um, personally, I have a view that most people are theory why, but there are still theory X. Uh, module four, we are asked to blog about our communication style and uh, have someone give us honest feedback on how we communicate. I was told that I do have great eye contact and good questions. However, if I get asked to explain something to someone, there's times that I'll lose eye contact which is very important to have in order to pick up any sort of nonverbal clues that someone may or may not be understanding what I'm saying. And one takeaway I had from that module was just to be more aware of communication in general, especially when you're emailing or texting or when is appropriate, well, like what's the appropriate method of communication in each situation. And in the next module that we had, which is module 5, we uh, we're asked to blog about diversity in the workplace. Um, I personally talked about a lady that I work with that recently moved here from Russia. And, um, you know, we all have diverse backgrounds, and a lot of people like sharing about them, but it's just most important to treat everyone with respect when you're asking questions. Uh, and one takeaway from that module, there's a lot that was talked about having a crisis communication plan in place. And, um, you know, I've had to go through a crisis communication with a bank robbery before, and that is extremely important. Module 6, we were asked to discuss our dream job, and personally I don't have an exact title for that dream job, but I do know that um, I want to obviously make a lot of money, have a solid work-life balance, and have the satisfaction that I am helping people out with a job, or you know, in their personal life, and having positive effects. Uh, one takeaway from that was the different types of groups, and really how diversity in those groups can be a positive thing and uh, you know really why the different types of groups are formed and and how they're formed there's a lot in that actual um, takeaway in module 7 we were asked to walk about how we take care of ourselves and personally what I do is I, I do work out at least three or four times a week uh, I try to leave work at work and be at home when I'm at home 
um, try and get enough sleep and eat healthy. And, you know, every once in a while it's awesome to get away and just turn your cell phone off and escape. Next we had uh, talked about conflict in groups, and that was a big takeaway from that module. Just that, you know, the concept of groupthink, and if you have too much cohesion in the group, it can actually be a negative thing and really not challenge each other's thoughts like they should be challenged. It makes sense why there's so much thought being formed into how groups are actually put together. And speaking of which, our group project um, was really putting our learning to the test. And we got a chance to all get together remotely, put a online presentation together that none of us were really familiar with on how to do that. But you did get to see how everyone picked up different things as far as the communication styles, motivation um, in that project. And I thought we did very well. Uh, in summary, overall, I had a great time with this class. I learned a lot of things that are going to make me a more valuable employee to my company and added a lot of things that will help out with my resume. And overall, just as far as even though I'm not a manager yet, things I can look forward towards the manager in that manages me and also in the future when I do become a manager. But overall, I had a good time and thank you for the class.